Well, Adobe, I have to say, you suck now. Well, I guess you always have sucked. But you suck even more now because you want to charge us to password protect our PDF file, which I think is wrong. Don't worry, I have an alternative way of doing this. And don't worry, it's legal. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you how to password protect your PDF files. If you don't want to hear an explanation of it or anything like that, please skip ahead of this video. Right here is an example of a password protected PDF file, and this is through Adobe Reader. The purpose of a password protected file is basically to keep other people from looking or editing your PDF file. Now here's an example of one that's not password protected. They used to allow you to password protect your PDF file for free. Well, not anymore. Now you have to pay. So before, whenever you was able to do it, you would basically go to file and then go to properties, then go to security and it would give you that option there. Well, unfortunately you don't see it there anymore. And some tutorials might tell you to go to the tools and then clicked on protect uh, but unfortunately when you do that it's going to ask you to open up your web browser and then when it opens up your web browser it's going to tell you that you have to pay for it but don't worry i'm going to show you an alternative way to password protect your files without having to pay for it and we're going to use a program called pdf creator also another pretty good pdf reader would be foxit but mainly we're just going to be using the PDF creator. If you want Foxit, you can also get that too. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can type in Foxit and you'll be able to download Foxit that way. But the way I like to download it, and I think it's the best way to do it, is to go to Ninite. That's N-I-N-I-T-E. And click on the first link. On here, you're going to see a bunch of programs on here. And if you want any of those programs, just put a check mark beside of them. But uh, basically, you want to put a check mark beside PDF Creator. And if you want Foxit Reader, you put a check on there as well. Then you go down and click on Get Night Night. From there, you're going to save it. Pick wherever you're going to save it at. If it doesn't give you that option, all you have to do is go down to the go to your downloads folder, or you can click and drag out onto your desktop. From there, I went ahead and clicked on the program, and now Ninite is going to install it. Now, I've already got the program in my computer, so it just said OK, up to date. OK, first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it with a current PDF file. What you do is right click and go to print. Now, when you go to print, this right here, the PDF Forge will automatically come up. You can name it differently if you want, or you can leave it the same, it doesn't matter. Okay, then what you do, you leave everything else the same, you go down to settings. And then once you're in settings, you go to PDF. Then you go to security. Now, right here, you I already have a check because I've already did it before, but yours will be unchecked. And all you have to do is check both of those and then put a password in for both of them. Now you don't have to have a password for both, but I normally do it just for extra security. But basically what they're for is for editing and for opening. If you're the owner and you want to do some editing to it afterwards, then you, you can password protect it. If you just want to like send it to somebody and all the only thing you want them to do is be able to open it and print it and stuff like that, then you would put a password in for that. And of course, the passwords can be different. From here, make sure you remember your password and then click OK. Then you click on Save. And then, of course, you click on Save right here as well. After clicking Save here, it's going to ask you where to save it at. You can choose to save it in the same place and you can choose to save it as the same name and it will replace the original one. And once it's done, it's going to automatically open and then ask for your password. Which, if you have a uh, Adobe Reader already, it's going to open up with Adobe Reader. 
From there, just go ahead and enter in your password and then hit enter or OK. Now I did blur this out a little bit because the information on there was pointless. Now I'm going to show you how to create a PDF from a JPEG image and password protected at the same time. To do this, it's very similar. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take an important document. Let's say this birth certificate here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to print. Now you're going to make sure the printer is on PDF Creator. Let's say you don't like how it's showing. Well, you can change the format. You can change it to a landscape format or you can change it to a portrait style format, depending on which way you want it. To do that, all you have to do is go down here in the corner and click on Options and then Printer Properties. From there, you can drop, go to the drop down menu and change it to Landscape and then hit OK. Or if you want it the other way, uh, you can go back the same way and just go to Portrait. But for the most part, most of the time you want to do it in a portrait style. From there, if you're finished, all you have to do is click on Print. From there, PDF Forge will come up. All you have to do is click on Settings, and click on PDF, and then Security. And then you can put your password there. Now, if you already have uh, it set up for a password, and you don't want a password on there, all you have to do is uncheck those boxes. From there, all you have to do is click on Save. From there, you can go ahead and give your file a name. After you do that, just click on save and then save it wherever you want. And when it's done, it's going to pop up and if you password protect it, it's going to ask for your password. And there you have it, your PDF. Now to convert a Word document to PDF, it's very simple. The only thing is, is whenever you go to save your document, go to save as type and go down to PDF. Simple as that. And to lock it, all you have to do is do like I said at the beginning of this video with that first document. I have to say this is probably the best method in doing this. Otherwise you end up having to pay Adobe Reader, but don't waste your money. Do it this way. Also don't use the online stuff where you have to upload it and then they send it back, email it back to you with the password on it. Do not do that. I don't trust those and I don't think you should either. Anyways, that's it for this video. You can give me a thumbs up. You can catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Comment and subscribe.